Hi there, I'm at the Insight Maker website, insightmaker.com, where we make uh, different Insight models, which are uh, simulated uh, system dynamic simulations, and we are simulating population. Uh, we already previously created a simulation, uh, which could be applied to any country, but I've set this one up for Bangladesh. And if we click on that, we can see what I've created here. And we've got data in these boxes called converters, uh, which provide the crude birth rate at five-year intervals, the crude death rate also at five-year intervals, and then here we've got the actual population plugged in at five-year intervals. And we're going to simulate the population to see how well uh, we can match uh, the natural increase to the actual population growth over the over the historic data we've got. The difference, of course, would be due to migration, the third variable that we're not modeling. Uh, settings, uh, you see you've got this set to 55 years. So we're starting in 1960 and we're going through 2015. And this was uh, set up previously in, a, in another example. So if I hit simulate, uh, we see from 1960 through 2015 that uh, for Bangladesh, the birth rate has been coming down, as has the death rate. And over the same period of time, uh, population has grown. Uh, you see about 48 million uh, in 1960 to about 176 million by 2015. So what we're going to be doing next is asking the question, what happens in the future if we uh, extrapolate out, say, 30 years? So to do this, I'm going to just clone this insight because I want to leave this original model alone. Okay. And I'm going to hit yes, I want to clone that. Okay, so now I've got a, a cloned model. And uh, let me see if I can spread, stretch that out a little bit. Uh, hold on. Okay, so in the cloned model, I'm going to hit edit info. And instead of leaving this called clone of demographic transition, I want to call this population projection Bangladesh and uh, for the description uh, shows projection of birth and death rate over time and we'll just say for Bangladesh okay and that's all I'm gonna say all right, so we'll save that. And now, the first thing we're going to do is go to settings. And we're going to modify, we're going to add 30 years to this. OK, so we'll hit apply. So that was under settings. And simulation length, we go from 55 to 85. Now when you simulate this, what it does is, after it gets past the last data input point, it just turns flat. So it assumes that for the next 30 years, whatever the 2015 birth rate was, it stays that way uh, indefinitely. And the same with the death rate. So that's one piece of information. And in fact, we can kind of use that as a baseline uh, for other uh, comparisons. So we can screen print this and save this file. Uh, there's no easy way to export these charts that I'm familiar with on this site, but screen printing works just fine. I usually do make it large first. All right, so something else you might want to just look at uh, is the table or the uh, the actual natural increase you see after 2015. If birth and death were to just maintain, we'd see growth again. Of course, it kind of looked like it was going to be going down, right? So uh, that would be a strange turn of events if for some reason the birth rate and death rate just became constant instead of continuing to decline. Because you can see here, for instance, birth rates started to go down. Uh, so the number of births is going to go up if the birth rate actually stays the same. So what we're going to do is we're going to go into this data file, uh, this data box, the converter, and we're going to add a point for 2045. Okay. And whoop, I didn't want to close it yet. <clears throat> I haven't put in any numbers yet. So you can kind of see that uh, things were heading down in the previous years. So probably a, a better 
guess about the future is that it's not going to stay at 19, it's going to come down. So what we can do is just plug in numbers and look at what happens to population. So let's let's start with I don't know, 15, all right, because that would be 30 years of continuing decline. And then for the death rate, uh, we'll do the same thing. We'll add a point, 2045. Okay, scroll down to that. And this one, let's say that goes down to 3. Okay, that's a pretty low crude death rate. So now we can simulate this. And now instead of holding flat, uh, we've got our new data point here. It's going to come down to that new data point. So birth and death will continue to decline. Uh, population is expected, based on those numbers, to go to about 254 million. Natural increase after 2015 uh, is shown to hold relatively steady through 2035 and then start to go up again. Uh, number of births and deaths. Uh, you see the deaths are going to continue to go down, but births will continue to go up based on those extrapolations. All right, so we can uh, make this large. Go back to the, the first graph here, the demographic transition uh, chart, which we created. Full screen, print screen that, and we'll save that.